see we have our little fin here that we're gonna change um, I am actually looking for a new home for him even though I really like him but I have another baby coming and another one in December I think and I think I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed with all the babies even though I really love him so much take a look at his I love the eyelashes the most and the hair and the fingernails I mean everything about this baby is so perfect um, that being said I'm not gonna just let him go to just anybody um, most well, I would say about 90% of my babies are all with people I know so I can you know, be assured that they go to good homes and they send me pictures or they have a channel um, so if you're interested please let me know like I said, I, like everybody that knows me, especially Anasha always says, you know, you can never get rid of your babies. What is up with that? And it's, I don't know. It's just to me, it's like they're just so special. But I'm also not a collector that will just um, put them in a box or a closet somewhere and doesn't ever look at them. To me, they're just too special and they need to have attention. They need to be played with, you know, and, you know. Um, and have love and so with that being said if I find the right person that would be great if not that's okay too um, I'm not in desperate need to let him go but you know I know that a lot of people really love him so if you're one of them let me know and then we can talk um, my email just email me it's andrea hughes 3 at earthlink.net andrea hughes 3 at earthlink.net i do have a spam blocker on there but i will um accept your request as soon as i see it um now to what we're going to put on him Today it's still in the 90s, but today, tomorrow it's going to be in the 70s. We're going to have a huge um, change in weather here, which I am so thankful for. So tomorrow I'm going to decorate with David for Halloween um, and film that as well. And I've never put this outfit on him. This, this is from Mango. This is from my friend. Uh, Ward and she's on Instagram and she's located in Saudi Arabia I just ordered some or well, bought some stuff from her a couple weeks ago and I'm still waiting for it um, so she always has some really really cute stuff really really good um, quality and I really love her babies even though a lot of them I can't afford I would never buy for the price because I'm just too I don't know I'm too logical to spend two two to three thousand dollars on a baby to me my babies are all under a thousand dollars and they are just as sweet and they're just as detailed and that's all that counts um, that kind of leads me into um, this discussion that Shelby had yesterday on her channel regarding uh, the video that she saw of um, uh, what socks? Hold on, of uh, Kelly and um, you know, do we have less vlogging? Do people vlog less? Why is that? And um, I have a couple of theories there. 
One is obviously there's a lot of controversy going on regarding BNB. There is um, this issue with YouTube going on right now where nobody really knows what's going on with them um, or with us in January. I mean, if they're gonna disable all of our comments in our wall and everything, I mean, I don't see what the point is then at the end of the day. Um, so I think a lot of people already have moved over to Instagram, um, made that switch or to Facebook. Um, a lot of people have switched over before I even came onto this channel or into this community as a YouTuber. Uh, because of bullying that was going on by the people that bullied me um, also bullied a few, you know quite a few others that have now either disappeared or are on Instagram so um, you know that's kind of like leads me into you know like if you are a new person on YouTube and you want your channel to succeed. I mean, my channel has only been up since, my, my channel has been up since uh, October, but I'd never really vlogged anything until April, because I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do anything like that. And I think my channel is doing pretty well. Um, even though I, right out of the gate, I got bullied immediately. So I really never really had a fair shot. So I never really had a fair shot. Um, as far as this community and this hobby and YouTube is concerned um, but you know if you want to be relevant if you want people to watch you people don't want to see drama they don't want to any the people do want to see drama you don't want them on your channel because that's not what this hobby is about so if you notice that somebody is constantly talking drama, 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 this is not the person for you. I mean, it's not the person for me. I am I'm very, um, very much against that. As a matter of fact, um, all the videos that I made defending myself regarding this person that bullied me and her minions, they're all private because I don't want my channel to be affected. Um, uh, because when I have new followers, they will take a look at my playlist and I don't want my playlist all, of, all to be about the drama and defending myself. Um, so let them all do whatever they need to do. But the only thing I have to say is a couple of things. One is if you are noticing your channel is not getting a lot of um, views, anymore maybe there's something you're doing wrong a couple of things that i can see a couple of people doing here is um, this elitism that's going on in the community um, as far as uh, the babies and how much the babies are and you know the the more expensive the better um, uh, the the outfits the pacifier clips the whatever it is you know it's it, that's not realistic you know it's not realistic for 90% of 90% of the population to you know be able to afford a $2000 doll i'm i'm sorry that's just not and anybody that says it is it's you know it's needs to go to have take an economics class somewhere um not everybody is I was gonna put this one on him. This is so cute too. Um, maybe tomorrow. Um, not everybody has the opportunity to live with parents where they don't have to pay rent or maybe limited rent where, you know, most people have a mortgage, most people have rent, most people have kids in college, uh, car payments, um, you know, so, and even if I didn't, you know, I would, I would not spend three thousand dollars on a doll to me that's ridiculous that's a really horrible um, way of investing your money that you work hard for you will as soon as the box opening it happens on your on your channel um, the buy the doll the doll um, loses value immediately just like a car as soon as you drive it off the lot it loses what did they say um, five thousand dollars in value as soon as you drive it off the lot so um, 
you know, it's, you know, if you really want to be smart with your money, you don't do that. And the more these channel creators talk about these, these $2,000, $3,000 dolls, the more the, the reborners think they can get that. And you know what happened now? What happens now? All of a sudden there's no box openings anymore, or very few. You know why? Because people got smart and people realized, you know what? I can't just, just because I love this baby, it's not worth $3,000. Just because I love this doll, I can't, you know, you know, put my savings out on the line for this hobby that I will never, I will lose money as soon as I open the box. So, um, you know, if you want to, if you want to um, have a channel that is geared towards the majority of people, the 99% of the population, you need to stay real, you need to stay honest, you need to stay, you know, when it comes to clothing, you don't need to, you know, explain to everybody, you know, where you got your, you know, that you buy your clothes from Jakari or from, you know, wherever else, you know, Etsy and, you know, you buy a $30, you know, muslin blanket. It's not necessary. These are dolls. And, you know, we have a responsibility towards the younger people that are maybe only 18, 19, 20 years old that see this. And we are, you know, they are going into debt for something that they see and that they think it's necessary to have a channel. And that's not right. You know, you can have a really great doll like this one here. I paid, what did I pay? $650 for him, for this, for this little guy. He is complete perfect. I mean, he's got blonde rooted eyelashes. He's got beautifully rooted hair. Look at that. I mean, there's nothing, he was born in April, so he's only like six months old. And you know, it's not, it's not necessary, just so that you have like, it's like having, you know, designer bag, you know, is a designer bag, bag better? You know, it's a better quality, maybe it's a little bit better quality, but it's a, is it double? Is it worth double the price? No, like a Louis Vuitton bag. I mean, I, I, you know, looked at them, I was very seriously thinking about, buying one my daughter got one and I looked at it I'm like it's not worth it to me it's it's not very good quality the handles get dirty very quickly there is no zipper anywhere to secure your your belongings like I somebody stole something out of my purse at an uh, at the airport standing in line so you know it's like it's it's you know more expensive is not always better you know and since we as creators have a responsibility towards younger people that watch these channels as well, you know, I just want to say, you know what, you don't need to design a clothes, you don't need $2,000 babies in order to make your channel work. It's all about you, it's about your personality, it's about what you bring to the table, it's about, you know, you loving your babies and you loving your audience and you connect with them you leave them come you know when they comment you comment back you leave a heart you interact with them that's what they want they don't want to see a three thousand dollar baby they want you to connect with your audience and when they notice that you don't care that you are too busy to care they will move along and this is what's happening right now they've all moved along will they come back who knows i don't know I have no idea. I can only speak for myself. I, I answer every reply. Um, and that's like another thing, you know, it's, it's like how many of you out there say, Oh, I, I, you know, I would like to know your honest opinion. Please leave me your honest opinion on this and this and this subject. And then you leave an opinion, not a rude opinion, but opinion that doesn't agree with theirs. And you're blocked because you know because you don't agree to me that's not democracy to me that's dictatorship and I'm not okay with that so anybody that goes on my channel as long as you're respectful you don't swear you don't go on a rant you can voice your opinion I'll voice mine and then it needs to be over but if it goes on and on and on then you know I'm gonna ask you respectfully to not comment anymore 
but the only people that I have blocked are the people that know they have been blocked because of this whole thing with uh, the uh, regional distribution centers um, uh, claims against me and the rollback or the roll the rolling of the tongues of her of her uh, followers that really don't know me from Adam I don't really know the true story either you know they just know what she says and they never contacted me so it's all bull um, so anyway so with that being said I'm going to put this little guy in his crib and decorate for Halloween tomorrow with David and I'm gonna upload the video on hmm, let me think, Sunday probably if you are interested in Finn let me know no pressure like I said I'm okay one way or the other but if there's somebody that would love him like I do that would be fantastic if not that's okay too it's fine and I don't like I said I've never sold my babies to make a profit or to even think that I would get what I paid because that's ridiculous so you know I'm always willing I rather take less money know the babies are where I want them to be then this has never been a profit-making thing for me I love these babies and this was really hard for me to get rid of them or to adopt them out shouldn't say get rid of them I don't get rid of them but you know I mean for all I know he'll be here next year from now that's okay too anyway but if you're interested you know what to do Andrea Hughes 3 at earthling.net um, have a good rest of your weekend everyone and be kind to one another and let your love multiply talk to you soon bye